This was me in college. Not really, but mostly. Minus that Viking hat, which isn't even historically accurate. Why am I wearing that hat? Okay, anyway, I know what you're thinking. How does a girl go on to be a productive member of society and still maintain her interest in Valhalla? Hi, I'm Eileen and this is The Lazy Millennial. Today we're going to talk about how to find that sweet spot between doing what you love and not starving to death. So I majored in English in college. I know, not a practical degree, right? A lot of people believe that they have only two options. Either do what you love and make no money, or do something you hate for lots of money. Here's the secret. Ready? Getting a good job is all about creating value for other people. That's it. The more you can be useful and provide services that other people need, the more money you are going to make. If you can find an intersection between your passions and creating value for other people, that's where you want to be, so you can be happy and make money at the same time. Most people's interests are going to have broad and narrow points. For example, I have a really narrow interest in old Norse myths and legends, but my broader interest is in all kinds of classic literature, and the knowledge and writing and reading skills that come from it are actually super useful. Reading the classics ended up being an awesome study in human nature. Only so many character personality traits exist, so while everyone's a little different, those traits are always going to be identifiable. So now, I can quickly see a person's character, personality, motivations, goals, and their weak points. But seriously, I could be an FBI profiler. So now, I'm pretty good at translating my thoughts into actual words, and I'm not half bad at understanding other people. And those are really marketable skills that some people are willing to pay for. Whether you have a degree in it or not, whether it's artsy or techy or anything, the important thing is that you find that intersection between what you love to do and what's actually useful and valuable to other people. Here's my advice. If you're just getting out of college and looking for that dream job, stay positive. Think about all the possible ways you can contribute to the world doing something you like to do, and then look at all the different companies that would pay you to do that. And if none exists and you really think that the world can benefit from your skills, don't be afraid to start your own business. I've been a writer for a few years now and have not starved to death, so if I can do it, you can too. Probably. So even though it can seem like we have to pick between something we're interested in and something that pays the bills, we don't. We can have both. And Fee has some awesome resources to help you get the job you really want. Starting with our great ebook, Your Life, Your Work, which you can download for free in the description box below. Hey, thanks for watching The Lazy Millennial today. How do you make money off of your interests? Comment below and hit like and subscribe as you go. Or don't if you don't like having a personally enjoyable job or creating value in the world. It's your choice.